10 instances where suspect items were discovered at resale shops. Welcome back to News Hub. For today's video, we're going to have a look at the weirdest items that are found in thrift stores. Thrift stores are exciting to explore because, in addition to ordinary cheap stuff, they frequently offer unique and at times scary items. Customers or workers may occasionally discover alarming items that might be used as evidence in a criminal case. It's possible that everything from the weapons to the furnishings to the clothing might be the key to solving the murder. Here are 10 instances where shoppers at a secondhand store stumbled upon stuff that may have been used in criminal activity. Number 1. Concealed Cocaine In 2021, a shadow light found one kilogram of cocaine in a crochet kit. One of the least likely locations such a large quantity of narcotics would be hidden. She decided to make hats for stuffed animals and got a crochet kit from a thrift shop. When the woman got the package home, however, she discovered a large object wrapped in yellow rubber and labeled 100%. The item's strange odor was probably the most alarming thing about it. After receiving the woman's 911 call, officers took the package and later determined its contents to be cocaine. It was then that they began their probes. Number 2. Dismantled Gun Over the years, a shocking amount of firearms have been donated to second-hand stores. The anonymous donations of guns are not always tied to criminal activity. In 2011, Employees at the Knox United Clothing Thrift Store, a church-run thrift shop in the Canadian town of Didsbury, discovered an unloaded sawed-off, 22 caliber rifle at the bottom of a clothing bag wrapped in another clothing bag inside a donation bin. It was possible that the gun was provided by accident, but it was also possible that its owner was seeking to get rid of it. The fact that the rifle stock had been sawed off is troubling. It may have been used in a crime, as Didsbury RCMP Sergeant Jeff Jacobson put it. Number 3. The Value Village Receives a Glock 36 and a Browning Pocket Pistol Second-hand firearms, this time a Glock 36 and a Browning Pocket Pistol, were discovered in a donation bin at the Value Village Charity Store in Puyallup, Washington. The Glock wasn't reported stolen, but the Browning's serial number was cut off in an odd place. Number 4. Theft of Valuable Artwork Sometimes we read about somebody who found a great gem at a thrift store and only paid a little fraction of its actual value. When antique dealer Lori Young was perusing the Goodwill in Austin, Texas, she stumbled upon an old Roman bust for only $34.99. However, Young was finally forced to give up her incredible treasure, which turned out to be a stolen artwork. The villa of a Bavarian ruler was bombed and robbed during World War II, and a marble bust said to depict Roman military officer Sextus Pompey was stolen. The circumstances behind the bust's appearance in a goodwill in Texas are a mystery, although it's possible that an American soldier stole it during the looting and carried it back to the States. Young, who is not the real owner, had no intention of retaining or selling the artwork after learning the circumstances behind its abduction from the estate. Number 5. Possession of an Unauthorized Quantity of Marijuana Five huge packets of marijuana were discovered in a donated cooler at a Goodwill store in Monroe, Washington in 2017. Probably the most surprising thing was how much weed was found in the stash. 3.75 pounds or 1.7 kilograms with an estimated street worth of $24,000. In Washington, adults over the age of 21 are permitted to have up to an ounce 28 grams of marijuana in their possession. Very few people probably meant for marijuana to be part of the contribution. The person who left the cooler probably didn't realize it was inside. The police watched security footage and attempted to track down the cooler's owner, but it was unclear if the cooler had been donated here or at the Goodwill trailer in a different city. Number 6. Untrustworthy Halter Tops In 1995, Proprietors of the Linden, New Jersey thrift store 
just about everything was sorting through the things of a recently deceased elderly woman when they came across an unusual item. Most of Mrs. Zarinsky's wardrobe was standard for a lady of her age, but there were also three halter tops that were more appropriate for a teen. There is a possibility that Robert Zarinsky, Mrs. Zarinsky's son, who is currently serving a 98-year sentence for the murder of a 17-year-old girl in 1969, is connected to the halter tops. His mother had a habit of taking extreme measures to shield Robert from the justice system. After he was suspected of killing a police officer, she allegedly extracted bullets from his body and hid him from investigators. After Mrs. Zarinsky's passed away, investigators combed through donated boxes at the thrift shop that contained clothing, jewelry, and other artifacts from the Zarinsky home, looking for leads in the unsolved killings of four adolescent girls in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Number 7. Testimony Regarding a Secondhand Store Buy The legendary serial killer, rapist, and kidnapper Richard Ramirez, aka the Night Stalker, wasn't caught until he bought an item from a thrift store and then used it as evidence. A witness identified Ramirez as the purchaser of an ACDC hat, which was later discovered at one of the crime locations. The hat was one of several pieces of evidence that led to his capture. The others were a jacket, sunglasses, and a shoe print. This vicious criminal who operated in the mid-1980s in California targeted men, women, and children. He often gained entry to his victims' houses through unsecured windows and doors. He has been on death row for about 24 years after being convicted of 43 offenses in 1989, including 13 counts of murder and receiving a sentence in the gas chamber. Number 8. Drugs Donated by Police to a Charity Store the occurrence in 2022 in Berthold, North Dakota, involving police, adds a weird and ironic twist to the topic of narcotics being provided to charity stores. Two police officers gave a bag of marijuana to a charity that runs thrift stores. Having resolved the case, police enforcement wanted to get rid of the cannabis evidence. It was meant for the trash, but it ended up on a truck full of donations for the Dakota Boys and Girls Ranch a Christian rehabilitation and education facility with 10 charity stores. The use of cannabis for recreational purposes is prohibited in North Dakota. A member of staff discovered the cannabis while sorting through a bag of donations, prompting them to alert the Ward County Sheriff's Office. The cannabis was turned over to Berthold Police, who disposed of it legally this time after the Sheriff's Office acquired the evidence. Number 9. Accusations of child sexual assault proven by sexually explicit photos found in a donated tote bag Photos taken during the commission of a crime are among the most convincing pieces of evidence possible of wrongdoing. After several unsettling Polaroid photos were discovered in a tote bag that had been donated to a Salvation Army charity store in Columbus, Ohio, a 48-year-old man named Gary Sovey was charged with rape in 2016. When the employees saw the horrifying photos, they phoned the police, who then confronted Sovi. The photos depict a sexual encounter between an adult and a young child, perhaps a toddler at the time of the assault. As suspected, Sovi was the one who snapped the photos of himself with a little girl. Number 10. Skeletal Remains in a Travel Bag Skulls, Skeletons, and Urns containing ashes have all been known to mysteriously appear at second-hand shops. These discoveries are typically not linked to criminal activity. A human torso without a skull or any limbs was discovered in a suitcase discarded in front of a Goodwill store in the San Francisco region in 2015. A severed leg and foot were also discovered nearby. This may be the creepiest and most startling thing ever found in a piece of baggage sold at a second-hand store. The authorities looked for a suspect who appeared in surveillance images. Once the images were made public, an anonymous tip led authorities to 54-year-old Mark Andrews, a low-level heroin dealer suspected of being responsible for the dump. 
human bones were identified through DNA testing as belonging to Andrew's friend and former roommate Omar Shawan, who was 58 years old. We hope you enjoyed the video, but now that it's over, what did you think? Leave your comments down below and don't forget to hit the like button. Also, click subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more from us in the future. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.